Hello guys, it's Xanacle here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to overclock your monitor in 2018. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video. Alright, so first things first, go ahead and open up your display settings by going to the Cortana box and typing in display. Scroll down until you find advanced display settings. Now as you can see we have our monitor's name, which mine is an Acer panel. I have a 1080p resolution and I'm running in 60 hertz. Now I will let you guys know that it's just like overclocking a graphics card. This can become very unstable if you go too high and some monitors don't even allow you to overclock. So keep that in mind and this will also degrade your health of your monitor so it might actually not work and it will fragment if you go too high and if you go too high like to the point where it can't even do anything it'll black screen for 20 seconds then it'll reset and you'll be back to normal so it's okay if you do go too far I was not able to get it past 65 Hertz sadly I tried 70 Hertz and it would not go so now next you will need to go ahead and find your control panel now I'm using Nvidia if you're using AMD it will be different you're using Intel it probably will be different as well so for Nvidia users go ahead and open up your control panel by right clicking on the desktop and clicking NVIDIA control panel next you will have to click adjust desktop size and position click the override button go back to change resolution click customize now as you can see I already have some presets already set this is the 65 Hertz this is the uh, uh, Hertz that actually caused me to fragment on the side right here and in GeForce experience so yeah, it was not it was not stable for me at all. So click create custom resolution. Now as you can see we have the refresh rate right here. You can change I recommend changing it up by one each time. For me I already know I can go up to 64 Hertz. And then when you're done, click test. Now if that's not gonna pop up for you, you have to click the yes button. But for me, I already have it, so I can't duplicate it again. Now, it should be right here where the custom button is. Then you have your refresh rate. You got 64 right here. I'm going to select 64. Click apply. Click yes. And then you can exit out. Now, to show you that it actually did change, I'm going to go to display settings again advanced display settings and as you can see it says refresh rate 64 Hertz so now you'll be able to actually see 64 FPS in game and your and when you cap the FPS with a V-Sync it will lock at 64 FPS instead of just 60 now if this video did help you out make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions go ahead and comment down below and I will help you out